Hey everybody, today we're going to talk about sodium, one of the most important yet misunderstood components of nutrition. Let's get into it. In my never-ending quest to find the best sodium product for triathlons and endurance events, when I say best, I mean most sodium concentration, best tasting, and best price, I've narrowed it down to three main contenders. They are precision hydration, element, and you can. Now, each of these has its own pros and cons, which I'm going to get to at the end. I'm going to show you a breakdown of sodium concentration per gram, cost per milligram of sodium, and I'm going to show you a table of the pros and cons of each, when you should use which for what application, because each of these has its strengths and each has its weaknesses, I'd say. Now, the precision hydration you see here is in effervescent tablets. Normally, on a race, I'll use the sachets of powder, pour them into a bottle, into a race bottle, and drink them on the bike. Precision Hydration has 1,500 milligrams for every two servings, so that's the catch. They call it Precision Hydration 1,500, but it's actually, it actually should be called Precision Hydration 750. So for one serving, you get 700 milligrams of sodium, which is quite a lot. Uh, most people need about that much per hour. For Element, you get 1,000, so that's a lot more. And with UCAN, you get 300. What we're going to do is we're going to break down the size of those servings as well as the cost and figure out which makes more sense. Precision hydration is something I've always used, I've always liked, but it's pretty expensive. One of the benefits though is you can create highly concentrated bottles of it. I can fit like, you know, thousands and thousands of milligrams of those in one bottle, like for, for a full Ironman. And, and that, that works for me. Element, however, is extremely strong flavors. I would call them tart. So what we have here is citrus salt, raspberry salt, and orange salt. But the good thing about Element is they use salt in so instead of sodium citrate as their ingredient. So the moment that salty taste stops being appealing, you know you've probably had enough sodium. So people who have not been sodium tested, I would recommend to use something like Element where they can get that sensory feedback and stop drinking it, stop consuming it when it starts tasting kind of nasty. The problem with Element, though, is the flavors are so tart, almost sour, that I don't think you can mix multiple packets of Element together like I can with Precision Hydration. I don't really think it's palatable. I think that the flavor is so strong, you're not going to be able to drink it. Element is really best for long cycling events or long endurance events where you don't have to concentrate all your sodium into the bike leg. For a triathlon, maybe a, if you're a light sweater, it would be okay, but you're really only going to be able to get one serving per bottle. You can't double them up. It's just too strong, trust me. That said, I'm going to be using it in an Everstring attempt in a few weeks. One bottle, one packet. I'm spreading that over, out over 16, 17, 18 hours, however long it takes, and that's going to be fine for me. You can't hydrate. This is a little tiny packet, only uh, three grams, whereas the elements are almost six grams, so they're about double the volume of powder. But this has 300 milligrams of sodium, whereas the element has a thousand. So the element still has higher concentration, but the Yukan, the flavor is, is wonderful. Here I've got uh, watermelon. I really like it. I could drink it all day. I could eat it all day. Again though, it is strong. I don't think you can double it up like you can with precision hydration. I don't think you can concentrate it. If you're getting value out of this, I want you to like and subscribe, please. Um, it really helps me uh, get the word out to more people. Okay, so which product is best for who? All right, I got my notes here. I think Element is best for those who need a lot of sodium for just a few hours or for a sport where they can always have access to it, like endurance cycling, unlike a triathlon. Because in a triathlon, you really have to concentrate most of it on your bike and uh, maybe a little bit on the run. But it's hard to have uh, lots of different bottles uh, while you run. But if, if, you can, if you've got a support crew or if you can carry it with you, then I think uh, Element is good. Element is really the best value for money. You can taste the salt, so you get that immediate feedback response. And at only six grams for 1,000 milligrams of sodium, it is the most sodium for the size. However, the cons of Element are it's got a very intense flavor. It's super tart or almost sour and it'll be difficult to combine multiple packs of element at once. Precision hydration. This one is great because you can make massive concentrations of it. For those who need extremely high sodium 
for endurance events like full Ironmans or half Ironmans, or an event where they have limited window to drink it, like the bike segment of a triathlon. However, it's kind of expensive and there's only one flavor. You can, on the other hand, uh, is the most expensive and it's probably the best tasting, I think. It's not salty or tart, but it is strong and distinct. Also, it's highly concentrated, the flavor. But like I said, it's the most expensive and the grains of the sort of kernels of it tend to clump up in a humid climate like where I am here. So I kind of don't like that. After a, a few weeks, it started clumping together and I had to break it up and really cut it up with a fork. But it does have a high concentration of sodium and the, the flavor is strong. The cons about Yukan is it's most expensive and the grains tend to clump up in a humid climate. Also, the strong concentration of it may be too strong of a flavor for some people. In summary, they all have their benefits, they all have their pros, they all have their cons for different applications. I'll continue to use um, definitely element and precision hydration depending on what I'm doing. When I'm racing full Ironmans, I'll use precision hydration. When I'm doing more casual events, more five, six hour rides on my own or with friends, more um, social rides, I'll use element. Element's a lot cheaper. UCAN's great, but it's hard for me to get here in Singapore and it's the most expensive. Here we've got a table of the concentrations and the costs. You can see that Element is the cheapest and UCAN is the most expensive. If you want to buy any of these, links are in the description below. Some are affiliate links, so I may earn a dollar or two, but you'd be supporting me. If you like this, please like and subscribe. See you on the next one.